But you know how he will urinate and he'll start stinking? How does that even happen? Like, what is he doing? Is he urinating on himself? Like, I thought he pulled his piece out to urinate in a corner or something. How does he get it on himself? What, this man doesn't know how to, like, you know, properly urinate? Not washing your hands should not make you a stinky guy suddenly, you know what I'm saying? It should mean that, like, yeah, maybe you should wash your hands, yeah, 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 you sicko. But it shouldn't make you suddenly stink. What is going on every but that terrible wave every single time? You know, it just ruins the introduction. He should wait for like at least three seconds so I could get the entire thing through. Let's do this again. I'm not gonna stop until you get this wave off. Everybody, welcome back. Okay, we gotta welcome back to last day. I'm your host, the Birdman known as Falcon. Yeah! Alright, it took us a while, but we got it. Anyway, um, if you didn't catch the last episode, I definitely encourage you to do so because hey. Oh, look at this, the Birdman got his chopper finally, it's, um, uh, some of you guys addressed this in the video and you guys said this yellow was piss yellow. You're right, it actually really is. It, it apparently looks piss yellow, especially after a really heavy night of drinking and partying. But anyway, we pinned this bad boy into the nuclear thing, which I guess looks alright. I'll maybe try the other ones later to kind of switch it up, but for now this will have to do. Right now we're getting on out of here, I also have six of these bottles here. I'll explain to you really soon why I have that. Um, last night I was out... Um, scavenging, farming for wrenches. Got an aid box, huh? Yeah, we'll probably go check that out. Where's that at? I was hoping for... Oh, it's right here. Oh. You know what? Let's just, um... Let's save the fuel. Let's just run over here really quickly. Last night I was farming for wrenches because I need nine more wrenches to finish the generator. And then we could bring this bad boy over here and unlock the next area over, right? So I'm very close to it, finally. But, um, I still need to farm a couple of wrenches, so... Last night, while I was out farming for wrenches, a really interesting thing happened, which was a chopper event finally. Now, I was not recording for us then, I was just farming on my own time. But I did record the event. I started up my recorder and I recorded it for us, so if I get a chopper event today, I'll do it normally. If not, well, what do you want, Spitter? If I don't get that in this video, I do have the footage recorded, so I'll go ahead and put that event into the end of the video, so um, after we're done here today at the end, I'll show you... It'll be no commentary, so I'll probably speed it up, but I'll show you them, which was actually pretty funny because... For... Oh, you're very close to the thing. Oh! Oh, what's with the aggressive, um, drop over here today? They normally don't come after you this badly. Stay over there, bloater. Um, that event was actually pretty funny because I went there, and mind you, I don't have any experience with them, so it was new to me. So I got there and it was a survivor asking for help to fight off a zombie horde. And, ooh, I'll use you. Uh, sure, I guess I'll bring you along. Yeah, yeah, okay, this this could stay behind. That could stay behind. I don't need any green coupons anymore. I got like a million of them back home. I can't even hold them anymore. So the guy was asking for help to fight up a zombie horde. And, well, I was just like, oh, okay, cool. So I followed him. And the moment they started fighting the horde themselves... <laughs> The moment they were fighting the horde themselves, I started looting their, their choppers instead for items. And after they were done... With the, the zombie horde, they came after me because I was looting them, so I killed them, and I then took their items, and I took their gas. It was pretty comical, so I'll have that little footage at the end of the video. So, as I was saying, um, we're looking for wrenches in order to finish up the generator, right? So, the best place that you guys have told me to farm is in the green area, which is where I've been going. I haven't had any luck, though. I actually found one wrench last night up in the red area. But, um, it's very dangerous to go to the red areas now because they just swarm you with a bunch of abomination spitters. The big one shows up pretty often now, too, so it's really annoying, so um, I've been focusing on the green one, but so far no luck. But again, I'll keep doing it off camera, I'll keep farming so I can beat those wrenches, and we open up the next area over, and we'll have a lot more fun things to do. I will be doing the third floor today because we haven't done it since the update, first and foremost. And second of all, we should be able to get like maybe two or three wrenches from that run alone, if we're very lucky. So, I'm hoping for a little bit of luck here today. Now, you could come over here, and you'll come over here, and as you see right now, I also have coupons. I'm gonna be popping these bad boys open now to see what items we actually get from the, um, the chest and all that stuff, right? Because remember, the, with the 1.62 update, they actually did increase the amount of drops. We do, we are missing 10 reds for this bad boy right here. So, technically, what I want to do is we'll go into the third floor, clear some of that off. With any luck, we get 10 tickets, and we'll open up a red crate here today. And we'll see what shows up in it. Um, you guys don't ever really drop anything for me other than green. So I guess I'll just pick you up now since I'm going to be going to the third floor. We'll probably grab a couple here. So 30 is indeed what we need. But right now we can open green and yellow. And normally in that room over here with my arrows at. 
that normally also has a wrench, so hopefully we get lucky here. We got a handgun, the bad, and stuff like that. I really want them to add more melee weapons to the chest just because I'm running out of melee weapons, man. Like, every single day I find myself having to make more and more Spike Devastators, which has been nerfed, as you guys all are fully aware of. So I'm running out of, like, melee weapons, and I have a ton of guns now, so... You know, it's a big problem, right? Oh, look at this baby. He's got no more melee weapons. He's got a million guns. Yeah, I know. I know. Run through the machine to get the weapon parts for. Aw, oh, man! No wrench! That's a bummer. These hammers, by the way, I got like 12 of them now. I also have like four boat paddles because, as I told you guys with the last video, I have a feeling that if they do add a boat, more than likely, <laughs> we'll probably need some paddles for that boat. So, if you get any boat paddles, don't use them as weapons, just save them like you would with the, um, with the hammers, because you never know when you'll need them for something else. And the paddle is a really terrible weapon anyway, so you really get no point in using it. Just save them for the future. Okay, so let's see what we got here today. We got a couple of bandages. My dude's getting hungry really fast now. Really annoying. Um, let's go ahead and uh, pop you open. I haven't done one of these bunker runs in a while, so I feel kind of like weird about it. Just as I've been farming mainly in the red and yellow, or red and green, for wrenches, so... I haven't been down here in a while. And by a while, I mean like maybe a week or so. But you know, just win one week alone makes all the difference in the world sometimes. So we got that over here. Spitter, you'll give me that green ticket. Now over here we should get a little bit of food, which is great because my dude's already starving, it does seem. Guy, uh, he got, we got an update to the game and suddenly this guy has like the appetite of like... I don't know. What's an animal that eats a lot? Anybody knows? I can't make a proper comparison because I have no idea about animal... Um, diets. See, I'm a bird. So I can tell you in terms of my own kind, us birds, we don't really eat too much, man. You know what we do? We eat our food, we eat our little seeds, and we save them in our little, like, you know, chest pocket thing. And then when we're hungry, we basically get in there and be like, Alright, cool, I'm hungry now. Let me go ahead and, like, really swallow the food that I have saved up in my chest. I know, we birds are kind of weird, what can I say? Alright, so homeboy over here needs to go down in one hit, otherwise we'll trigger that guy. So we have to, unfortunately, use you. Yeah, because if you hit him and you don't kill him in one hit, the abomination triggers on you. And obviously you want to get a, a free hit on the Abomination too, right? So we'll do that over here. And... Machete's about to break, huh? I'm not sure if... Uh, whatever. Let's just go for it. Oh yeah, speaking of which, there's another thing that they um, changed in the update that I haven't covered. And as a matter of fact, I didn't cover it because I'm just not really too familiar with this. But you guys are familiar with it. You guys told me in the comments about this in the last video. Remember your little... Ooh, nice. Remember your little, um, attack, move back, attack thing? Have you tried it since the update? They patched that out, so you can no longer use, like, a, a weapon like this over here. And attack, and, like, attack, move, attack, and move, and reset the delay. So they actually changed it, so no more of that. Which, you know, it sucks for you guys who use it. I never really use it too well, as you guys saw through all my videos. People always tell me, Falcon, why don't you ever use it? Well, I don't use it now because it's removed. So that's my excuse now. Why don't I use it? Well, it's been removed, so... There it is. Um, we do have this bad boy over here. Normally that a crate never gives me a red ticket, so I, I see it like pointless to get that. But whatever, it's not like I'm aching for guns, right? So let's just get it out of the way. Hey, buddy. How you doing, Mr. Turret Man? Yeah, that chest right there rarely ever gives me... Uh, again, I was gonna break it. I told you guys I have plenty of those that I process. So that dude barely, rarely ever gives me what I'm looking for. Um, there it is. <laughs> oh, sucks to be you. You couldn't hit me with my hit, my handgun, even though it was all up in your grill. So let's see. Have any luck today? Any reds? Oh, well, there you go. It showed me, huh? Oh, we never gave a red one. We'll open it up. Good luck. Cool. So that's done. I guess since over here we have abomination two or three and the fatty, we might as well get these guys out of the way now. So the faster we get these red tickets, I was about to call them rickets. The faster we get these red tickets, the faster I'll open up that bad boy upstairs. So, for this, I need to trigger these guys after me. Um, let's go over to this, and perhaps even this. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and just break this gun if I can. So, 89. I should have a heal. This could sometimes backfire on me. Because of that abomination who's fairly fast. Or maybe I just run and reset the map. I don't know. You know, just be a total scumbag about the entire thing. Alright, my goal is to break this weapon right now, so it's fine. Let's just get you guys over here. 
There we go. Let's go into auto if we can now, and let me come in here and drop one of these just in case. There he is. Now, oh, he didn't drop a red one for me. Abomination, my man. You're supposed to always drop one of those for me. You know the routine, man. Let's see. Let's go ahead and just heal up with this. I'm cautious about the water because I don't want to have this guy have to urinate in the middle of a fight. It's like, oh yeah, I suddenly have to pee. I got like all these dudes after me now. So let's see about this. I guess I didn't check out the turret as well. The turret never really has tickets though. You could always get like wires from it and stuff like that, but I've never really seen ticket drops. Oh, well, that's disappointing. Well, that's fine. We have this one. We got the um, Frenzy Giant and we also have a, another locker in there, which sometimes has a red ticket. So but potentially luck here, we could have up to four soon. More water in case we need it. Cool. Let's go ahead and pop you. And, I mean, I'm going to kill you. You guys know that I could sneak and pick this without a trigger in him, right? I've shown it many times in the past, so yeah, you could do that in case. Let me just, I guess I'll do it again just in case. But you can't come in here, check the locker without ever triggering him in case you don't want to. But again, if you kill him, you have this possibility of a red ticket, so you might as well do it. Oh, good. No reds, huh? That's unfortunate. Well, we got some wires, which are always important, so I'll pick you guys up later. Uh, I guess for now, because I can't sneak attack you, I don't think. I will go over to the gun, and we'll finish you up with one of these over here. Let's do our thing. Get over here, big boy. Get on over here. You gotta get a step on it, man. Never gonna catch me at this rate. Boom. Aha! Okay, so seven more. Excellent. Oh yeah, and a lot of you guys too as well told me that... Remember how a couple of videos back I talked about... Yeah, I figured as much. Remember how I talked about a couple of videos back about that one time where the giant was able to attack me before I hit him with the long-range weapon? Um, it has happened to a couple of you guys, and then some other of you guys also explained to me why that happens, and it's basically just lag. If you lag a bit, it'll like maybe skip a frame or two, which lets the giant get an attack on you before you attack him. So, that would make sense. So as long as you don't unfortunately lag in that particular area, you should be okay. And over here, if you attack this guy and kill him in one hit, he won't trigger, but... I mean, we have to get over there to kill the other giants, so it's not really a big deal. And also, let's see what else have I read from the comments recently on Twitter. Oh yeah, a lot of you guys on Twitter, recently, I'm not sure why, I guess maybe new players, um, just realized that the enemies in this map, like when it comes to the Toxic Spitters, they have more HP than the ones on the regular maps. So, the bunker enemies have more HP than the outside of the bunker. Which, I thought everybody already knew about that, but some people have told me about that recently. I'm like, yeah, that's been around for a while. Um, the enemies in the bunker are stronger than outside the bunker. And the reason why, there's no real reason, just the fact they want to make this area harder because it should be harder, right? You get a bunch of rare stuff here, but... Yeah, a lot of people told me about that and I was like, huh. Surprised that, um, nobody ever really noticed that. Because you used to be able to kill, like, the spitters before they nerf the... Oops. I took an extra shot. With the spitters, before they um, nerfed the Devastator, you could kill them outside of the maps um, with one single hit. Oh, nice. Six more. But nowadays, since they nerfed the Spike Devastator and the Shovel, you can kill them with one hit now, so you have to hit them. And then when they turn around, you could actually attack them before they ever hit you. So it's still fine. You can still kill them before they attack you, but because of the small little nerf they did to the Shovel and Devastator, it's a bit disappointing, but, you know, what can you do? Let's go ahead and, um, just break that bad boy, and we'll switch over to that one once we're done. Mm, I'll just have that right now, just to top myself off. Come over here, Spitter. Now, that was weird. <laughs> that guy just suddenly stopped like he changed his mind. It's like, I'm not sure if I want to fight Falcon after all. Oh, yeah, and, um, let's see, another thing that people tell me about. You can essentially... I'm not sure if they fixed this, though, mind. But, um before, or maybe you still can, I'm not sure, but you you were able to cheese this map here. Apparently, if you trigger the Frenzy Giants over there or something to follow you over here, they get stuck right here. You could basically kill them from over here, like a bow or something, or just with ranged weapons. So you can do that, or you, you, you were able to do that. I'm not sure if they've patched that out, like they usually patch out all this stuff here, but I never showed it on video because as I told you guys in the past, I don't like to cheat the game. Like, I'll just play it legitly. Of course, playing the game legitly has taken me a long time to, you know, catch up with content, so... You know, it's just one of those things, though. I'd rather just play it legit and take my time than take the shortcut. I guess even though I'm a scumbag, I'm also somewhat honorable, which 
kind of really defeats the purpose, I guess, but whatever. Again, if you kill this guy with one single hit, the other guy will not trigger, and you get a free Abomination crit. Um, and after we're done with this crit, I guess we'll switch over to that weapon and conserve this big saw for more giants down the line. So we'll do that. And just switch it out. Switch it out. Bring him down. No ticket? Oh, you scumbag. No ticket from you? How dare you? Uh, let's just use one of these here to top ourselves off. Our hat's about to break. Um, with any luck, we find we hopefully get a... Did you have a ticket? No. With any luck, we finally get a, we get a hat here. If not, I'll probably go back upstairs and loot that second yellow box that we opened up. Over here, we got two abominations as per usual. Um, honestly speaking, I really don't like these guys ganging up on me. And because guns aren't really that big of a problem for me at the moment, it's mostly just melee. I'd rather conserve my melee weapons now. So here's what we'll do. We'll attack you, switch over, and we go snipey snipey. At this point, I guess I could probably just switch over to melee. Oh, like I got stuck. It's pretty weird. Well, now I'll do it. There you go. This is only to like not take too many hits, conserve a little bit, a couple of heals. Oh no! You were supposed to give me the red, my man. The red one. Speaking of which, we got giant, abomination, spitter. Yeah, you could snipe these guys from here too. I could use a crowbar if I had one as well. Let's see. I'm gonna use this over here, we'll break this one finally, and we'll do this. Um, this is gonna be kind of really... We have to be careful about this because... If you break the gun while you're shooting this guy, your guy will then rush into melee and that guy could punch you in the face and kill you. So, what I'll do is... I'll actually hit him and then we'll... Switch out. So we'll do something like this, get out of the way... And... oh. I thought I had another pistol on me. Guess I don't. Oh well. I could go up upstairs and pick the one that I'm missing. I should have killed him with the saw too, but what can you do? Alright. Uh, we're missing five more. Five more. Can we get five more? Mm, let's see. There's one giant, two giants, three. There's like maybe four or five more giants in the map. So if they drop them, we're good. Hey, good. That hat that I was hoping for. Cool. I'll just have on uh, I'll just have it here before the other one breaks. Uh, yeah, we can still get five tickets from this floor. And I hope we do, because I really want to open up that crate upstairs and see what we get. Yellow? Alright, and I'll pick you guys up later. So let's see here. Now we got a couple of spitters. We'll go over to this setup. Mmm. I'll go up to food here. Oh, I still have my Devastator. Forget about that. I should probably run upstairs and grab that handgun. Should I do that now? I'll do that soon. I'll cut that out of the video, though. I need to go back upstairs and get a handgun, because I don't want to use my automatic for the Giants. This seems pretty silly for the Giants, because they're so slow. Seems like a waste to me. Oh, look at that! A surprise red ticket from a spitter, of all things! That's very lucky right there. They do drop them, but it's rare. This is probably the second time I've ever got one from them, so... That's a really surprise one right there. I'm happy about that. Um... Let's see here, we're about to get chased by the Abomination and the other dude, so let's do this, let's do this, let's also top ourselves off over here. We had the old 69 happening too, I love it. Now I hate this part of the map because, there we go. I hate this part of the map because you saw how when I was in the doorway I was actually aiming at the giant, but it's not even the giant here, it's the giant in the other room. So if you do that sometimes, he can actually... Let's go into auto here. Let's go into... Let's go into auto here, I said. You dingus. That'll probably break and we'll just end up shooting him if I'm right. There you go, it's fine. Um, but what happens if you actually trigger the, the giant on the other side of the, the, the door? When you try to shoot these guys, what could happen sometimes is... That when you open that door, he's already triggered. So the moment you open the door, he just punches you in the face. He's kind of like, surprise! And he just punches you out. It's happened to me a couple of times, which is the reason why I brought it up. Um, that giant over there, I need that handgun. So, you know what? Let me continue down this way. No, I need the handgun for the other... All right, let me go get my handgun. I'll be right back. Alrighty, and we're back. So I went upstairs. I just grabbed, like, the first chest that I saw that I opened up, which was this and this over here. So we won't have to go through that one, I'm pretty sure, but I just wanted the handgun for a fact to get rid of the giants here. So here's another interesting thing I've wondered, too. 
You know how when your character urinates, he tends to stink afterwards, or at least like, get a smell effect? How does that even happen, by the way? Can somebody answer that to me? Like, you know, I understand that like, when you urinate, right? Like, you know, you might want to wash your hands, as a matter of fact. Always wash your hands after you urinate, please. Just be respectful of other people. You don't want to, like, urinate and then go shake somebody's hand and be like, Hey, how you doing, buddy? Let me shake your hand with my, you know... You know, I've, I've been touching my, my penis here with my hands, so... I'm gonna just... Ah! Ooh, wow. I'm not sure what happened, but my game just completely lagged. I'm not sure if you'll catch it in the video, but, like... My game just, like, skipped the frame completely. Okay. That was silly. Thank God I was, like, at 4 HP. Wow. <laughs> Remember how I talked about how he could sometimes hit you with a, a lag? Well, we got some lag. Oh, God. Thank God I was topped off. Should I top myself off before I go in there? I'm scared now. You know what? After that little lag thing, I'm not gonna risk it. Boom, boom. And drop that right here. That was terrifying, man. He almost did it again. That was very close. Oh, it wasn't even worth it. Anyway, let's go back to what happened here before my little lag incident here. But, you know how he will urinate and he'll start stinking? How does that even happen? Like, what is he doing? Is he urinating on himself? Like, I thought he pulled his piece out to urinate in a corner or something. How does he get it on himself? What, this man doesn't know how to, like, you know, properly urinate? Like, I, don't under I can understand not washing your hands, but... Not washing your hands should not make you a stinky guy suddenly, you know what I'm saying? It should mean that, like, yeah, maybe you should wash your hands, yeah, 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 you sicko. But, it shouldn't make you suddenly stink. Because I'm urinating elsewhere, not on myself, you know? Now, if he actually peed himself, which would be a pretty cool thing, by the way. Like, if you don't pee for a very long time, and he just eventually just ends up urinating himself, then that would be interesting. And then I could understand him actually stinking, because it'd be like, you know, oh yeah, well, this guy peed himself, so he, he stinks. But if you're peeing on something else, he should not stink. I'm just throwing that out there, Kefi, if you're listening and watching. These ideas, by the way, they're for free. Take. Go ahead and take. Make an animation where if you don't pee long enough, he eventually pees himself, and then you stink. But not before, not if you pee yourself, because, oh, you, oh, thank God, just two more, guys, we're almost out of here. Um, yeah, if you gotta wash your hands, a different thing, but washing your hands does not mean you suddenly stink, unless he's got, like, the smelliest hands of all time. I don't know, maybe he does. <laughs> maybe that's the reason. Maybe he has some sort of, like, you know, uh, urination condition or something, you know. His prostrate's like, you know, out of whack. I don't know about this guy, man. We we play as him, but we don't know about his information or his background. And these guys, I don't think you could ever sneak attack these guys. Or maybe you could sneak attack them with like a long-range weapon. But is it really worth it for these guys? I would say absolutely not. Equip that. You know, while I was up there, I should have probably grabbed my extra clothes too, because the one that I have over here is about to break. Well, hopefully we get these red tickets before that happens though. Let's see, let's see. Uh, we're gonna need you. Gonna need you as well. And we're going to need myself not to get smacked in the face here. So, let's make sure you don't lag this time, Falcon, you dingus. Please don't, like, for real, please don't lag, okay? The first time it was silly, and we had a laugh about it. But not this time, okay. Good. I, I worry always hitting these giants in those little small enclosed areas, because you could sometimes run into something and it could be game over for you. Or technically, it's not if you have, like, full HP, but you know what I'm saying, right? It's almost game over. Come on, red ticket, red ticket, red ticket, yes, baby, one more. Give the Birdman one more and he's out of here, how about that? You want to give it to me, Abomination? <laughs> giggity, giggity. Oh, you want to give it to me, Mr. Abomination? Please don't, okay? I'm not into that zombie freaky stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and hit this guy with the saw blade to bring him down severely, and then we'll switch over. Yeah! Alrighty, come on, make the last one. If not, we still have a good chance of getting up in the next room, so... Ooh, baby! A triple! We're out of here, let's go. Now, don't you guys worry, I'll clear the rest of this room out. On my own time, another video, we'll see. Right now, I just really want to get these red tickets and open up that crate. And let's see now, how our luck goes. I'll meet you upstairs. Alrighty, so we're good to go. So I went upstairs, grabbed the other 20 that I had up there. So you know what I'm thinking about right now? When you think about it, we didn't even complete the entire third floor, and I got 10 tickets from not even completing the third floor. We still haven't gone through the first, well, we were technically in the first one. But we haven't gone through the second floor either, right? Because I skipped it, went straight to the third one. So when you think about it, halfway through the third floor, I got 10 tickets alone. So have they increased the rate drop, or did I just get very lucky? Who's to say? Oh, isn't that cute? We got the chopper fork. I actually already have, like, two more of these back home. Well, I was trying to get the gas tank before the update. 
I got like two shopper forks extra, so there we have that. One engine part. Normally, sometimes here with this, with the new thing that they added with the update, you could get like two or three of these. I'm not, I'm not joking around. I actually got two last time, and I've heard like three as well. But we only got one this time around, which sucks. But this is actually the last one that I needed for my generator. So my generator is now done with the engine parts. The only thing now I need is the nine wrenches. So there you guys have it. I'm going to continue with this next time around, or I'll just do it off camera. We'll see how it goes. But once the wrenches are gathered, we will indeed finish that generator and go off to the next world. Or not the next world, but the next part of the land and have some fun over there. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will catch you next time, Falcon. You want to you wanna say bye? Oh, you need to surrender? Okay, he's going to surrender to you guys. I'll catch you guys next time.